The need to meet wastewater treatment regulations and reduce water usage is driving many industrial facilities to implement zero liquid discharge, or ZLD, systems as a solution. The standard ZLD system consists of a vertical tube falling film evaporator, or brine concentrator, followed by a force circulation crystallizer enabling you to eliminate liquid waste streams from your plant and produce high purity water for reuse. Feed wastewater is transferred from a wastewater pond or tank and is pumped into a feed tank. Here in the feed tank, the pH is adjusted for deaeration or decarbonation. The feed pump then transfers the wastewater through the heat exchanger, where the temperature is raised to near its boiling point. The heated brine is then pumped up to the deaerator. In the deaerator, non-condensable gases such as carbon dioxide and oxygen are removed from the brine. The deaerated brine then flows into the brine evaporator sump. The brine from the deaerator enters the sump and mixes with a large volume of brine. Brine is transferred from the sump to the flood box located at the top of the evaporator heat transfer tubes using the recirculating pump. Brine in the flood box is distributed in each of the heat transfer tubes. The liquid flows down the tubes, coating the inside wall as a thin film within each tube. As the liquid flows down the tube, a portion of the brine evaporates and produces steam. Both the liquid brine and vapor are flowing in the same direction. For the brine that reaches the sump as liquid, it recombines with the brine already in the sump, as well as new feed brine coming into the sump from the deaerator. That mixed volume will then recirculate back to the top of the tube and shell. Evaporated water vapor flows through the mesh pad mist eliminators. The mesh pad mist eliminators remove any brine droplets from the vapor. That vapor exiting the mist eliminators flows to the vapor compressor. The compressor increases the vapor pressure slightly. The compressed vapor flows to the shell side of the heat transfer tubes of the brine evaporator. The vapor condenses on the outside of the vertical tubes. The condensed vapor flows down the outside of the heat transfer tubes and is recovered as a distillate. The distillate flows to the distillate tank and then is pumped through the heat exchanger. Hot distillate is cooled to heat incoming feed water. The cool distillate is available for reuse or recycle. Concentrated brine from the brine evaporator is sent to the brine crystallizer. The concentrated brine is routed to the shell and tube brine heater. The concentrated brine is heated to above its boiling point in the brine heater. The heated brine then enters the crystallizer vapor body. Upon entering the vapor body, the heated brine flashes. When the brine flashes, water evaporates from the brine as steam vapor. This concentrates the brine, and crystals form in the circulating brine. The flashed vapor in the vapor body flows through the mist eliminator to the vapor compressor. Vapor from the compressor is routed to the shell side of the shell and tube heater, where it condenses and is recovered as condensate. Recovered distillate is available for recycle and reuse. The crystallized solids are further processed by a filter press or centrifuge to achieve zero liquid discharge, and in some cases used as a valuable byproduct.